We're enjoying Get Some Sun Season 7, sharing travel adventures and stories by some of India's well-known travel influencers. Joining us today is Anuradha Goyal from IndieTales.com. She's an innovator, social media influencer, an author, speaker and an award-winning travel blogger. Listen in. So welcome right back, Anuradha. You know, um, I know that you mentor and consult across digital social media campaigns uh, in the space of travel and tourism and and a bunch of other stuff. I have to ask you this, uh, according to you and your travels, which has been the most Insta-friendly place that you've been to? Insta-friendly? Um, I mean, uh, there are places which are designed to be Insta-friendly, but I guess the most exotic Insta-friendly place I've been to would be a Kumbh Mela because uh-huh. you get literally a world out of the world, you know, which is uh, which is temporary. It comes on the temporary flood plains of a river. If you are in Praya, then it literally comes on a temporary piece of land which is formed after monsoon when the water recedes Okay. And there is a temporary uh, in, in the temporary town that comes up, and people from different walks of life come in. So you know there are householders like us who go there to uh, have a spiritual sojourn, and there are these hardcore sadhus who who live in caves or Himalayas or their own ashrams and do not mingle with the world and they come out to mingle with the world. Wow. So it's the meeting of the worlds, different worlds. There are traders who come to trade, there are artists who come to perform. Uh, there, there's a first pilgrimage that, that people come for to take a dip in the Sangam. Uh, mm-hmm. But more than that, it is about, it's like world's largest open air, open to everybody conference. There are people who are teaching, people who are preaching, there are people who are selling. I have seen some of the biggest bookstores put there. Um, I've seen some of the best artists performing there and everything is almost for free. Everything is free actually, free food. Uh, free living but more importantly everybody behaving as they should behave you know the same people who would uh, do all kinds of things in the world uh, would really behave as they would that as they are expected to behave so it's like kind of an um, utopian yeah. um, scene uh, or it's like kind of uh, uh, re-establishing uh, a faith that you know we as humans can really create a great society and you meet uh, I mean I met so many different types of people um, that it becomes a living breathing university wow it's it's fascinating I know it, it draws lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of people across the length and breadth of this country and indeed the world uh, you know the west is absolutely fascinated by all that goes on in the Kumbh Mela uh, and I, th- I think it's inspiration for what the Gen Z's have now called the Burning Man Festival in the middle of the desert somewhere in America. But, uh, uh, but definitely, you know, worth a visit. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing all your travel adventures with us. And we shall connect with you real soon for more. Great. Always great talking to you, Erica. Thank you for joining us on Detours. You can also join us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Our handle is IndieTales, I-N-D-I-T-A-L-E-S. See you soon.